for the little YouTube world. It's hey Keisha. So I'm here to do a video for you guys. It's a prof prophetic word that I got from the Lord. So stay tuned. <laughs> Few days ago, I dreamt um, that of a male rat like a, the face like a male and they have the face of a rat and I dreamt that this rat was coming towards me and I saw the rat I had a little bit of fear but not so much but then has it come closer to me and it came and it lay beside me on my bed and then it said um, started to move closer towards me and this rat was trying to move closer to kiss me and then I was like no 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus is against you the blood and I was like rebuking this rock rebuking it rebuking it until it, it didn't kiss it didn't happen and I got up in the morning and I was so like confused I was so hurting. I, I felt like um, there was something inside of me that dropped and I, it just feel like something is wrong but I don't know what it is. I can't think of what it is and I just feel uneasy. I feel burdened. I feel like I just like everything that someone said to me that day like the kids get on top of my nerve like everyone around me. My sister called me and I just feel cross. I just got up across the entire day I was just so upset so upset like really upset and you can see it you can see it people around me saw it like people that lives in the house saw that I was miserable and so I went for a walk came back but I was thinking about it like this dream isn't good this dream it seems as if it's someone close to me I'm not a person that keeps friends I really don't I have like few people that I talk to on the phone. I am not a friendly person honestly and um, I'm close to my family but not so close so I was like trying to figure out what's going on who is this person that's trying to come at me and um, so I, as I said I was calling out on God and I would just be rebuking it rebuking it in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus is against you so it's been bothering me for about a day or a couple of days and I decide that you know what I need to pray about this because this is bothering me and I went to pray and a scripture came to me like God um, actually spoke to me and he gave me a scripture to read which was Matthew 11 verse 18 and I'll read it for you guys it says um, for John came neither eating or nor drinking and they say he hath a devil so that telling me neither eating so i highlighted neither eating or drinking and it tells me you know what go on fasting go on fasting i spoke to my mom she said that's not a good dream go on fasting so this dream i interpreted as a rat is someone a rat my basic interpretation of this dream is a rat is someone that talks bad about you behind your back or just put on a front as if they like you or you're your fr they're your friends and you know they put this mask on and behind your back they demonize you they stab you in your back and having a rat someone that speak about you like that it comes it, it tells me that it's a form of an enemy a disguised enemy and that rat that disguised enemy was trying to kiss me meaning that a discut guy's enemy is like that tries to kiss you is like judas who betrayed god by with a kiss so i felt that that this dream is about betrayal so this um verse came to me so i decided you know what it's best to go it's telling me to go on fasting which i have taken a fasting today and i just feel like i need to share it with you guys because there's a lot of us that have in our circle family member close friends like close people that we consider as family and they stab us in our backs and we don't know where they bad mouth talk about us and as you start growing and growing and growing and they don't like it they just talk speaking all manner of evil against you and you know god is himself jesus himself has gone through situation where people speak evil about him 
and we are no like we are no better than Jesus we are like we're trying to be Christ like so we are no like in any higher rank than him so who are we for people or family member not to talk about I am not picking on my family or picking on any of my friends but it's just the dream that came to me and I had to rebuke it so I don't believe that whoever it is will do it because it was rebuke and it was sent back to the pit of hell I just wanted to comfort you guys with that the saying watch your circle just pray constantly things that you don't understand you just ask God to um to reveal it to you and the other thing is while I was reading first came to me I decided to read the entire scripture and two three other verses stood out for me and it's um they're well-known verses so it's the verse 28 so that is Matt Matthew 11 verse 28 29 and 30 so 28 says come unto me all he that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest take your yoke take your yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and he shall find rest unto your soul for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so it's just saying to me there it's telling me like as I said I felt Heavy. I feel like there was a load I was miserable and I didn't know what it is so sometimes there's stuff that going like the enemy's fighting you but God has your backle he's fighting it he, he even fought your battle before it was seen by you there are so many battles that God has fought for us that we didn't even see because he shielded us he's taking care of his children he is taking care of us but sometimes he reveals stuff to us so that we need to be careful and be mindful of people that we have around us pray for those people that are around you pray for those people that are around you pray for their guidance pray that God can order their footsteps into his word so that they can see the light because it's no good having people in your life that is going to pull you down that is going to discourage you that that doesn't like to see you striving so pray for them even though even though you may not know what they're thinking because the truth is we don't know anyone's heart my mother always said you see someone's faces you see the beautiful the beautiful face but you don't see what the heart look like so always pray for your friends your family constantly pray for your friends and your family because if you need that strive in life where you just want to just strive and strive and strive negative words are a way of pulling you back and distracting you so i would say just continue just as how you pray for yourself and pray that god may lead you and god may guide you god may provide for you do the same for your friends and family because sometimes they're not praying for themselves because they don't understand they don't they don't understand the power of prayer so pray for your enemies actually now is not the time for us to have enemies if you do have enemies go make it right don't sit and wait for them to make it right with you you go and make it right with them you go and make it right this is not the time to have enemy this is not the time to be playing mindful games we need to seek God first and we need to clean our heart purely so that he can be welcome into our heart into our mind into our soul and he can take control of our life and that he may be able to order our footstep into his word and once we're into his pur purpose there's no need for anything there is no need for anything he will make a way out for us so just pray for your friends pray for your family pray for the circle that you have around you because that negativity can wear you wear you out and that's my prophetic word for today hope you guys have a great day a great week and a great month